Hey guys, I'm Rory McKernan. Thanks for tuning in to Mayhem Nation's YouTube channel. We are so glad you're here. We've been putting a lot of firepower into our media lately, and if you like what you've been seeing, do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. It would be very, very much appreciated by our team. Now, let's get to what you're about to see. This video was filmed at the Mayhem Athlete Camp in early December, and you're gonna see Sage Bergner taking some of the best athletes in the world through a Mayhem Bergner Strength session. If you like this video and you like what you're seeing, maybe consider becoming a Mayhem Athlete. You can do that through SugarWad or on MayhemNation.tv, where you'll get lots more videos just like this one. Enjoy. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna take you through what we would normally do on a Bergner Strength or Mayhem Bergner Strength program day. So it looks like it's a lot, but I promise you it's not as daunting as it seems. Basically how you wanna look at this is we're going from skill work, so it's pretty technical, then we're gonna get a little bit more weight here, a little bit more loading, and then we're gonna end with your basic snatch. So everything is progressively building in weight. We're starting really light, we're going to medium, and then we're going to heavy, okay? Then when we're gonna do our clean work, again, it's gonna be more like basic complex work, building to a heavier clean and jerk. And then we're gonna end with some back squats, okay? So how I like to look at it is we're prepping and priming our body for the snatch work. So this very first portion A is just with a PVC pipe or empty barbell. And it's very, very mindful when you're going through these movements. And I'll kind of talk through them a little bit, what I want you guys focusing on. Then we're gonna start turning all our fast twitch muscle fibers on. We're gonna start working positions, learning how to stay over the bar, learning where, how our feet should feel against the ground, feeling that balance. And then we're gonna bring it all together with the snatch at the very end. If you feel really good, take these three singles up. If you're not feeling super hot, even though you should feel really fresh after that workout right there, then just keep at like a pretty standard weight that you can hit kind of consistently for the three singles. Okay, same idea here, the power clean, push jerk, clean and jerk. That's gonna be a little bit lighter. We're just gonna get the snappiness of our power clean, the timing of our push jerk, um, get the clean and jerk under fatigue, and then we're gonna just finish with the clean and jerk. Again, if it feels good, go up. If it doesn't, just stay at a moderate weight, okay? And then same sort of idea with the back squat. We'll start with the three second pause back squat into a normal back squat, and then you can just build to a heavy single for the day. All right, so the first portion that we're gonna do, slow tempo snatch deadlift. What this is gonna do is it's gonna really reconnect us with our feet. How many of you guys feel like you kind of just grip and rip off the ground, Murph? Okay, so you grip and rip off the ground, you like get it into your hips anyhow way that you can, and then you just like chuck it and pray that it gets overhead. Okay, so we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna really slow it down and we're gonna work good positioning off the ground. Then we're gonna move to a high hang muscle snatch. This is gonna really work that strong turnover and it's gonna work good bar path. Really focusing on those elbows coming high and outside, that turnover and that punch into a nice receiving position. Then we're gonna see who has commitment issues with these snatch drops. This is where you get no dip and drive at all. You're literally just Punching down into your overhead squat as fast as possible. Working on seeing just how fast you can be underneath that barbell. And then we'll end with super fun sots press. Okay, so you're gonna snatch drop, you're gonna stay, and then you're gonna press three times down in the bottom. Okay, so the whole complex is gonna look like this. S slow snatch deadlift. We're gonna feel our feet against the ground. We're gonna feel nice and balanced. We're gonna feel ourselves stay over, and then we're gonna get into that power position and stand. Then we're gonna do three high hang muscle snatch. You're gonna bring it on your back. You're gonna do one snatch drop, three sots press, and stand. Okay, we're just gonna do three sets of that. You can do PVC pipe, you can do empty barbell. Any questions on that so far? No? 
Okay, then we're gonna go into snatch deadlift to one inch off the ground. You could call this a snatch lift off too. That first inch off the ground is gonna set the tone for the whole rest of the lift. Okay, so sometimes when people first lift off the ground, they either bring their chest up too soon or they let their butt come up too soon. We wanna have the bar, the chest, and the hips all rise together as we shoot our feet into the floor, okay? So when I see that first lift off, it should be here. I'm very active through my legs. Everything is rising together. I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see this. I wanna see everything moving at the same time, okay? Then we're gonna go to snatch deadlift to mid thigh. This is gonna help us learn how to stay over the bar. When that bar feels really heavy off the ground, we just wanna go. We just wanna get under it as fast as possible, right? We just wanna jump. We're gonna learn patience today, and you learn patience by pausing and getting all the way up to mid-thigh. So you're gonna deadlift up to here. You're gonna feel yourself stay over the bar as long as possible. Pause, hold this position, feel the balance on your feet, bring it down, reset, and then you'll snatch. Okay? Everything moves together. We stay patient, staying over, and then we're gonna apply all of that to the snatch. We'll do that for a couple of sets, okay? So one plus one plus two for two sets, one plus pl one plus one for three sets, steadily building in weight and then we'll end with snatches where they'll look perfect because you've prepped and primed everything ahead of time. Right? right. Okay, so let's just focus on this and then I can kind of talk about this next portion after, but this one's a little bit more simple and self-explanatory. It's like four hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just rest, like I would say get into um, threes, and then you guys could kind of rotate, get into groups of three. Um, that'll be adequate amounts of rest. But we're CrossFitters, so you guys could go like every 45 seconds or so. Okay, so look at your toes right now, Rich. See that? That's what we have to really fix. We like to drive the knees out because it makes us feel like we're setting our back, but then we take away from our power through the ground. So immediately, instead of sitting here, sit through the full foot, drive your toe into the ground, and then push. Stop. Good. There you go. Much better. Good. Crank those elbows a little bit more. There. Good. At the top, really reach here. Yeah. Be super dramatic with this first one. Like everything needs to be perfect. <laughs> Alright, set your eyes straight ahead you guys. I know you're worried about your position, but try to feel it. Don't try to look down. We want to have our eyes set on a spot straight ahead. And you're trying that wider grip today, right? Don't re-bend the knees on the muscle snatch. Don't re-bend the knees on the muscle snatch. <laughs> there you go! Oh my gosh, you can do it! Bailey, can you come over here so that I can see you? Like, yeah. <laughs> Don't go behind the board. Good. Good. Sit, try to sit on these as low as you can. Yeah, there you go. Now you look like a weightlifter. Yes. <laughs> Good. And then do we do, like, when our partner goes? Yes, exactly. Partner. Good, so don't dip there. Okay, Rachel, just punch under as fast as you can. And move your grip in a tiny bit. There. Punch. Faster than that. Come on. 
go. Yeah. Good. So sit down there for a second. Good. So I want you to open up. Yeah. So don't turn this way. Turn that way. Make this work without pulling the bar back. Okay. Turn a little bit more. I want the crease of the elbow towards the ceiling. Okay. So stand up. This. This okay. is what I want. Now try to break the bar in half. Yep. Exactly. Like a rainbow. Should I go wider? No, you should not. A little bit narrower. Okay. Make the bar look like a rainbow. Yeah. See how that turns everything on? That's what we want. Okay. So now try to hold that position down in the bottom. Better. Move your feet out a tiny bit. Yeah. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. That's way more active and stand. So you just can't surrender to that, that internal rotation. That puts all the pressure here on my shoulders. If I externally rotate, so crease of the elbow to the ceiling, and I try to break the bar, make it look like a rainbow, that's a way more active position for you. Okay? Faster, Fee. Good. So no rebend, Tyler. Okay, so you dip, drive, punch. Not that. Better. And then elbows high and outside. Yeah. So move those feet. So move your feet in at the start. There you go. Good. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, footwork is everything in the Olympic lifts. So if I have lazy, slow feet, I'm going to have a lazy, slow lift. So when you're doing your snatch drop, I don't want it to be that. Okay, see how lazy my feet are? They're going wherever I'm landing like this. I need to be nice and crisp and clean with my feet. Then my body will follow. Okay? Got it? Very good. Good balance. Beautiful. Pull those elbows higher. Yes. Down and up. Down and up. Yeah. Good. All right. Move your feet in a little bit. Good. That's better. Yeah. These are super fun and easy. <laughs> Good. Good. Move your grip out a tiny bit for me. Yes. Good. Reach back a little bit more. Yeah. Push that mobility. Awesome. I heard it's better if you make direct eye contact. With it is. It way. helps a lot. Just make it as weird and uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> okay, so whenever you drive your knees out, just don't have it be excessive. Okay. okay, I want them tracking the toes. Exactly. And then bring your hips up a little bit. Right there. Now push straight into the ground. Better. And then keep it closer to your legs on the way up. It should be like this far off your legs the whole time. Okay. Okay. Okay, so not this. I want arms long, set the lats, down and up. Better. Elbows high. Good. Good. Show me the armpits at the bottom. There you go. Good. So if you do this right, when you muscle snatch, you should knock the hat off your head. Uh-oh. Leave it on. Or you could just turn it backwards. <laughs> Good. Yep. Down and up. Here you go. Don't worry about coming through. Okay. Bring that bar to you overhead. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's a big day for you. Don't, don't get cocky, okay? <laughs> Good. Really reach here. Yep, exactly. Reach up through the lats. Yeah, very nice. I know that um, Jake and I were talking about you, and I know that you like a wider grip, but I might have you just try a little bit narrower because I want to see something today. Okay. Yep. Are you guys done? All right. So if you're done, 
you can move on to this next portion now. So this is where we start to build a little bit and wait. Think going from like, you should end where you can immediately start going into your first single for snatch. Does that make sense? So kind of base it off of that. For which portion? Don't think about it as percentage. Think about like, okay, I know any day of the week I can hit this number. Okay. So I'm going to have that be my second okay. set and kind of go off of that. Can you, can you do that one more time, Fee? I want to see. Okay, so stop. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to think about here, so see how your legs are kind of out from you. I want you to feel like your legs are under you because oh. if your legs are under you, then you can really push with them okay. when you're lifting the bar off the ground. Okay, right. so go. Push. Yes, exactly. Okay. Now keep pushing as you're passing the knees because when you try to get the knees out of the way, you don't get them out of the way by driving them out. Oh, you get okay. them out of the way because you're naturally standing, so they're going to move anyways. Do it again. I want this to stay here. Stay on your full yeah. foot, okay? Bring your knees in a little bit more. Yep, and then don't drag it up your legs. I don't want to hear it on your legs. Yeah, much better. Good girl. That's so different. I always, so different. So I was always cued like push the knees towards the creases of your elbows. I know. And push out. And I that's know. Why my feet, like almost like my toes come up. Maybe the insides of my feet are come up. So I used to do the same thing okay. and then I injured my back because of it. So if you're driving your knees out off the ground, all you're doing is you're push, putting all of the pressure on your back. Because what I'm doing is I'm taking my legs out from under me. Now I'm putting all the pressure on my back. So my back is doing all of the work. If I get my legs under me, Okay, now my legs can drive off the ground and I think of it as like loading my legs to be able to explode. Okay. This is like getting into position, but you can still do that by keeping your legs underneath you. Okay. That makes Does that make sense? sense? Yeah. Okay. It's a very hard habit. Yes. From the start. Exactly. And I it's a hard it. habit like to here. break. Like I'll even like rock. You'll back rock. And forth. Yep. We call that I the rocking it. chair pull. It's very common. Good, Brian. Play around with that position, okay? Overhead. Yeah, I like that. Sitting there just kind of telling your body, okay, this is a new position, but this is where I want you to go now, okay? Good. Think more about elevating it up off your hips. Don't just get it there and go down. Your pull under is really good, but don't rely on that. Get that elevation first. Yeah, because you have a great pull under. So where do your eyes need to start at the beginning? Yep, and then butt down a little bit. There. Good. So when you do that, I don't want to see a scoop yet. Okay, that's jumping too soon. We're trying to eliminate that. So you're going to stay here. Don't re-bend underneath it. Don't scoop underneath it. Just come up to here back down, and then snatch. So do the whole thing over again. Set your eyes, good. Push, down. It's a really long inch. Down, that's better. Push your toes into the ground, good. Good. I know guys have a different measurement of an inch than girls do, so. Beautiful. Big jump. Jump. Good. I want to hear more of like a brush rather than a hard hit off the hips. Okay, that tells me you're jumping more than you're just hip thrusting. Okay. You're okay. <laughs> good, I like that one. That was good. Who's that? I don't know. 
All right, elevate it. Better. Watch those knees, Bailey, okay? Exactly. It's, so when you're gonna feel it the most is when you're passing your knees. It's just a habit. When you're passing your knees is usually when people try to drive them out. Dig your big toe into the ground. It will help. And don't drag it up your leg, okay? Good. Yeah, that was better. Sorry, I, this is a really important point that I want you guys to understand. So when the bar gets into the hips and then ends up overhead, the proper bar path is straight up and then slightly back. Okay, this makes no sense. Okay, so here's the bar at the hips. It comes straight up and then just slightly back. Okay, as we turn it over. What I see a lot of you guys doing with your bodies is you're coming straight up and then you're coming straight back down again. So you extend up and you extend or pull straight down. What you guys need to focus on doing is driving up and then you need to get out of the way of the bar and pull through. That's moving your body around the barbell. The straight up and down bar path is gonna be the most efficient bar path, right? It's where the bar is gonna move most fluidly, most effectively, most efficiently. I don't want to manipulate that bar outside of that efficient bar path. So I have to manipulate my body around the bar. So I don't wanna see you guys jumping up and pulling straight back down again. I wanna see you driving up, and then I wanna see you get out of the way and pull through to end up with that bar stacked strong overhead. That doesn't mean drive your hips through and start getting around the bar before you have fully jumped. I jump first to elevate the bar, and then once that bar has gotten as high as it can possibly get, then I manipulate my body around the bar. Does that make sense? Rather than manipulating the bar around my body. Okay? All right, let's try it. Good. Drive your feet into the ground. Yes. That was better. Way better. Come on, Fee. Good girl, I like that one. Yes, Bailey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Retire, because that was beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some food. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be really exciting to watch right now. Let's see if you were listening to anything. Okay, that, that's not it. Okay, where are your eyes supposed to be? Straight ahead. Okay. <laughs> Butt down, chest up. There you go. Now restart the whole set. Good. Stay over. Good. Stop. Big chest. Squeeze here and go. That wasn't bad. Off the ground was awesome, turnover was awesome. Now crank your elbows. Crank the soldier boy. Is that what they say? 
After you jump and you pull under, don't just be lazy with it. Crank your elbows. Yes, exactly. You can do it, Murph. You can. Okay, so not this, okay? Those arms are like ropes. You don't want them to be like two by fours. Nice and loose here. We jump, um, maybe a tiny bit. Good. Okay. I don't think I can do the weight. I hit my shoulder yesterday. That's okay. Just work on the positions off the ground. That's totally fine. Good. So here's what I want you to work on. You're gonna give me this. Oh. You're gonna come here. You're gonna pause here. You're gonna feel your feet and then you're just gonna jump. So I don't want you to get into the habit of doing this. This is never something that you're gonna feel in the Olympic lifts. You're never pushing through the toes. Your hips are never coming forward. You're only ever jumping. So you're gonna lift off. You're gonna feel a position where I feel like, okay, from here I can really jump hard against the ground and actually leave the ground when you jump. Feel it, feel the bend in your knee. Good. Now, when you jump, don't sit like this. Okay, feel your full foot. Feel the full, yes, now jump. Exactly, good, much better. Come on, Fee, jump, put your toes on the ground. Yes. Ooh, I like that shrug around on that one. Now. I feel like I'm fighting to stay balanced through my feet. Yeah. Do you feel like you're sitting too far back? Uh, like, I almost feel like, yes, I'm sitting. So like most of the time, like, my toes are left. Okay. So, so yeah. here's what I try to focus on. I try to feel more of this doing the work rather than this doing the work. Okay. So when I sit back too much, it's because my midline isn't wanting to work and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna let my butt and hamstrings do all the work then. No, if I really stay over in the proper position, my midline should be working so hard because I don't get to sit back on my posterior chain. Okay, okay make my midline work, kind of feel like you're hovering over the bar. Bailey, that was awesome. Really good. Yes, exactly, yes. Can you watch this one? Oh yeah, girl. So when you, I want you to pause at mid thigh really quick. So when you're here, I don't want to be able to push you forward or back. Yeah, that's better. Good. And down. Hover. Yes. Yes. Make your midline work. I love that. That's Very awesome. good. I didn't feel like I was rocking on that one. Yeah, it's way more dynamic. It's not so like rigid and static holds. You're so tight in places. Yeah. It's more of just feeling nice and balanced, like you're allowing the bar to move and you're allowing your body to move. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I felt that one. I keep missing yours, Rachel. Are you doing that on purpose? Good, push your feet down, push. Yes, good. Jump the bar up. Good. So, when you jump, let all of your jump transfer into the bar. Okay, so you're jumping really hard, but the bar is kind of staying down here, and then you're sneaking underneath it. Jump the bar up as high as you can. Don't just jump to jump. Okay, do it again. The full, uh, no, 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 just the snatch. Okay, don't think so much. Just jump that bar up hard. There you go. That was 
beautiful. I can tell you like to do things perfectly and you think a lot about this stuff, which is awesome. But sometimes you have to think about it before you step up to the bar. And then when you step up, just be athletic. Be more athletic and you'll get it, okay? Yeah, and just try hard. Yeah. <laughs> Good speed through the middle. Yes, yes. Before I get to my three singles. So you can figure out what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Don't drive the knees out. Push your feet down. Okay. Push down. Yeah. Load your legs. Push. Okay. So you extended to here, very, very vertical. I want that same vertical drive, and then I want you to think, get out of the way at the last second. Okay, okay? shrug around. Don't just shrug down, shrug around at the last second. Okay, okay do one more, just snatch. Okay. Think, jump up, shrug around. Jump up, shrug around. Yes, better, much better. And then as you do that, keep cranking on the bar. Okay, okay? jump up, shrug around, crank on the bar. That's what you're thinking. Okay. Who's up over here? You know what? I loved that one. That was awesome. Be ready for it now, okay? It's flying. Move your feet in. Yeah. Good. And then point your toes out just, yep, good. Good. So you're someone I noticed, you like to throw your head back, yeah. which is okay. It's not bad, but you still have to jump. So don't just get acceleration by doing this. Get acceleration by this too. Okay. You have to have both. Yeah, I know I, I like to throw everything And that's back. okay, some people do that. That's totally fine, but you don't want it to take away from your leg drive first. That needs to happen after you've fully driven through your legs, okay? Come on, Rich. Good. I really like the tempo on that one. So normally what I see with you is aggressive off the ground, a deceleration, and then you try to accelerate again. Keep the acceleration there. It's faster, faster, fastest, okay? Come on, Rachel. Tight. Ooh, I like that speed through the middle on that one. Receive it strong, receive. Good. Now get a little bit more assertive with your feet and that would have been perfect. I like to think about, so you kind of just like let your feet land how they wanted to land. I like to think about punching my feet into position. So my punch puts my feet where I want them to go and my feet are my base underneath me in that overhead squat. So I have to punch into a stable overhead squat position, okay? All right, let's go, let's see it. Speed. Tight, woo, good one. That was very fluid, I love that one. Good, Bailey. That was awesome. That receiving position was not lazy at all. You put yourself where you wanted to go. That was so good. You get better with weight, huh? Come on, Fee. Yes, good, one more. I don't want to hear the bar on your legs. Oh, yes. Okay? that's gonna allow you to stay balanced on your feet. If you sit back, you're gonna drag the bar up your legs. Okay. If you don't drag it, it'll put you more forward on your feet. Okay. 
okay? So there's a difference between dragging it and pushing it in and just gliding it. Yeah, good Bailey, jump your feet out more. Yeah, Luke. Soft. Yes, 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 yes. Good. I always thought like push into my body. No, so that's what okay. sets you back. Yeah. That's what okay. pushes you back when you try to do that. Okay. But if you're just slightly grazing on your leg. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on, Justin. Jump up, shrug around, crank. Oh, that was your best one. That's what I'm after. Oh, that was so good. Good job. Yeah. So when you receive that bar, be ready for it because you're receiving it. There's this slight internal happening. So think chest up, reach on the bar as strong as possible. Everything else is amazing. Okay. Yes. So if you guys are done with snatching, come on, Brian. Nice job. I'm so glad you made that because everyone was watching you. <laughs> All right, so uh, for the clean complex, you guys, we're going to do power clean. I want you guys to pause for a split second when you receive the power. So I don't just want you to power clean and stand. I want you to feel that actual pull under, receive for a second, and then stand, okay? Right into push jerk, where I want you guys to focus on the timing of your arms punching the same time that your feet hit the ground. So I want here, arms and feet at the same time. I don't want to see your feet start and stay at the same, in the same spot. I want you guys actually moving your feet from a jumping to a landing position. Put it down, reset, and then do a full clean and jerk. Got it? Break. Good talk. Good talk. Good. Good. <laughs> He totally looked at me right before he dropped it. Go right again right now and make it. I could tell you're in the army because you don't listen. You literally didn't do anything that I told you to do before that though. Is that narrower for you? What's that? Is that a narrower grip for you? I kind of like it. So the reason why is because I feel like a slightly narrower grip, it forces you to have to pull longer. So I know you don't like the contact point, but a wider grip, we sort of feel like, oh, it's just gonna end up overhead. So I don't have to work really hard on my turnover because it just ends there. Yeah. But a narrower grip, we have to think, oh man, I got to crank in the position here. Yeah. I have to work harder. So then everything is way more turned on when I go to receive it. Okay. That was my theory behind moving your grip in a little bit. I like it uh, overhead, exactly what you were talking about. It feels a little bit like, Wider is a little easier to stay like engaged mm -hmm. versus a little narrow, but that feels better overhead. I think if you work on staying over the bar and jumping hard, your contact point will be there. Okay. Don't worry so much on engagement with your upper back. Just don't let the bar pull you out of position. If you don't let the bar pull you out of position, your body's gonna engage how it needs to. So you don't have to like over exaggerate that position or anything, okay? Like with the narrower grip, yeah. more patience. Patience staying over and then jumping harder. I liked that one a lot. Your hips went up beautifully on that one. Good job. Let's see it, Justin. Come on. You have to elevate that bar. Jump it up. Come on. Tight. Woo! Good. Do you feel that shrug around? Yeah. That no, looks no, hit, so like, much better. 245 like that in a long time. Yeah. It's not, it's just not forward. So when you shrug around like that, it gets the bar. Yeah, my punch feels like super 
super solid. Like, yes. Exactly. Good job. Stay over, Morphe. Good jerk. I was gonna say that looked really weird with your right hand. Oh, no, oh it got caught. Okay. I hate when that happens. Okay, move your feet. I'm watching only your feet. Yes. Good. Good. Be a little more assertive here, okay? You're landing and then your arms are locking out. I wanna see you punch down into position, okay? okay? Nice, Murph. Oh, it's okay, same thing. So when you come here, don't do this. Oh. Come here, stay over. Okay. Here, balance on your feet. That's all right. Good, Rachel. So when you land, don't sink and then recover. I want you to stick it. Recover. There should be no leaning into that front leg. Okay. Yes, exactly. Good. Nice jerk. Yeah, Bailey. Good. Oh, she knows it. She's like, I got a good jerk. Like you feel like you don't keep your midline in the bottom. Okay. So one thing that you could kind of trick yourself into keeping it is by sitting back on your heels a little bit more. So think about, you have all this weight sitting in front of you, right? However much weight I have sitting in front of me, that's how much I need to sit back. And then that way when I get to the bottom of my dip, it actually places me in a, a balanced position. If I just start centered here and I have all this weight in front of me, at the bottom of my dip, it's gonna pull me forward. Yes, so sit back more, okay? And then just like I was talking about on the snatch, when you shrug around the bar, it's the same idea on, on the jerk. I'm gonna jump up and then I'm gonna move around and through to get it back into position. I can't just move straight up, straight down. The bar is gonna end up here. Yeah. I have to drive up, get the bar as high as it can get, and then I have to move myself through it in order to get it back into position. Okay. Nice, Brian. Good. Keep the bar on your body when you dip. You can dip as fast as you want to dip, but the bar has to stay on your body the whole time. If there's any amount of crashing, you're moving against the bar. So you're here, the bar crashes, so it's literally coming down as you're coming up again. Okay, on your shoulders the whole time. Yes. Feet, Bailey, feet. Good girl. Big punch here. Good feet. Nice. So that's okay. When you receive it, I don't want to see your chest super far forward. I want to see your chest stacked right underneath that bar. Not here, because then I have to pull back on the bar to counterbalance. I want to be a good foundation underneath it. Okay? Let's go, Rachel. Good. Did you feel yourself lean into it? Exactly. So maybe think about being light on your front leg. 
Okay, so as soon as you land, your leg should feel so light that you can just step back right away. If it feels heavy, you're gonna linger there and then you're gonna, it's gonna be this like drawn out recover, okay? Nice. Keep jumping it up, okay? Your punch under, it's the same thing. Your punch under is awesome, but you gotta jump it up first. Yeah, Bailey. There, good. Now, don't get it back by doing this with your wrist. Your wrists need to be a little bit stronger. That's gonna make your punch in the position stronger too. If I'm kind of lazy with this position, yes, I like it. No, I don't want it here. I want it right through here. So tighten up that wrist super strong and have it sit here in your hand, okay? Good. All right, so I'm gonna watch just your torso. I wanna see your torso underneath that bar. Yes, torso under the bar. Exactly, good girl. Exactly, that's what we want. Yeah, because I felt like my back toe like kind of jamming at first. I was like, ooh, that hurt. Yeah, yeah. If it hurts, you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> nice. You have very good movement. Good, Jake. Tighten up. Come on. Squeeze your upper back so you don't feel like you have to pull up. Take the tension off of your arms and put it on your body. Yes. Yeah, better. Now be ready for this jerk. Be ready. Tight. Yeah, good job. Much better. Drive. Oh, that was better, Rich. Good. Much better. Good speed, Tyler. Good. Same elbows. Yeah. I love that. Good snappiness there. Yes. Good. Good. Don't curl under too much, okay? Have your wrist stay neutral on the clean. Yeah. Wrist neutral, better. Yes, good. On the jerk, don't drive up, drive up and back. Okay, I need a little more bite at the very top of your extension, okay? Um, out of curiosity, why, why don't you like... I like it a little bit, like knuckles down kind of helps to on the on the elbow pull through the middle yeah. but too much turns people's shoulders Shoulder in forward, so they okay. internally rotate and then they're they're basically creating tension in the wrong place i want tension back through the lats and through okay. my posterior chain i don't want to be really anterior when i'm pulling off the ground okay okay yeah sounds good i just like always been hot that a little bit is totally yeah, fine like... not too much though okay. yeah it's a fine okay. balance Good. Move with the bar a little bit more on your dip. So it was here, it was really choppy on the dip. Okay. Move with it so that the bar can heave off of your shoulders, okay? Yeah, Brian, come on. Tight, 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 tight. Nice fight, good. Good jerk beam. All right, do one more clean really quick. Don't worry about it making contact with your hips. Just think about jumping the bar up. So all you're gonna think about is staying over, jumping up. Staying over, jumping up, okay? Instead of like being intentional and getting into like my yes. pocket? Yes, yes. 
You should contact like right here, okay. but not up here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Stay over, jump up. Yes, good! Oh, that was so much better. Yes, it feels totally different, but it's way more efficient. Okay. Okay. Come on, Ashley. Ooh. Good. Oh, yeah. You like the clean and jerk. You like the clean and jerk yeah. a lot. <laughs> this, is, this is much better on my shoulder. Yeah. It's straight versus. Yes. Uh, Bend your back leg a little bit more. Okay. Okay, because you're here. I want you to be here. I need to set those hips under me more. If my back leg is straight, it's going to tilt me forward. Is there something I can do before I hit the jerk that's like a good thing for that? I also don't usually do this intentionally, but I'm trying to like get better at it. So yeah. Like stuff. But there's something I can like. I think breathe, breathe. brace, go. I think so I, I go, breathe. breathe. Go. So I like to pause after I brace. So people are like breathing and dipping at the same time. Breathe, brace, go. And that should be the tempo. Breathe, brace, go. Every single time. That's what you're saying in your head. Yeah, I rush everything. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yep, exactly. Pause down there for three seconds. Good, that's what I did. And then shit your spine out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got this. Come on. Get up right now. Yes. Get your air. Yeah. You're gutsy, I like that. That looks very good. All right, who's up? Come on, big jump. Good, move with the bar. Better, very nice, very nice. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, nice jerk. <laughs> Your turn. Good speed. Very good speed. Come on, Tyler. Good, crank through the middle more, okay? This was awesome, this was awesome, but you had nothing through the middle. You have to give me something through the middle. I know it's not super heavy for you yet, but you have to set the tone with the lighter weights so that your body knows what to do with the heavier weights, okay? Yes, Rachel. Sit through your hips. Yeah! There you go. Good girl. Okay. That's fine. So that's why I get it. I get it and like want to get it almost into my hip because when I get into my hip, I feel it pop a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Versus like here. I but you're like popping I like this um, instead of like this okay. when you do that. Okay, you can still have a wider grip, okay. but your pop needs to come from here, not from here. Okay. Get up, go. Does that make, it's gonna take some time to relearn that. Yeah. Drive up and through, up and through. Yeah, Bailey. Yes, good. It feels better, like I'm not like wonky. Yes. I'm gonna try it on the Come on, just don't sit back, Fee. Nice. Jump. Exactly. Good. 
Do you not love that? Because I loved it. Oh, that was so but good. Yeah. It's just like popping in a different too. way. Because I know that sensation that you're talking about, yeah. but it, it almost has to come from like this part of your legs yeah. rather than this. It needs to be like, this up. That. And then that's going to give you the elevation on the bar. Mm -hmm. That one was so yeah. good. And I'm very quad dominant and I feel like I don't use my quads as much as I could. Lock yes, up. exactly. So, okay. Yeah, good job, girl. Come on, Murphy. Good. Careful not to lose your midline on the jerk dip. You're doing this. You gotta keep set the whole time. Pull. Better, Tyler, good. Yes. That was way more intentional. Let's go, Justin. Go. Yep. Give me the bite at the top. There you go. Good. Very good. Do you hate that you're not doing this right now? Not really. My no. legs are pretty sore. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Brian, let's go. Get those elbows around. Yes, yes, yes. Tight midline. Squeeze. That's all right. Hey, you got to work with what you have. Okay, that's all it comes down to. You just got to get creative. Luckily, you have a great drive on your jerk, so you get that bar up high. That's freaking awesome. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go. Nice. So do you feel like you have more range of motion in the push jerk than the split jerk? Um, I, I feel like my split, I just, I'm not comfortable like driving out this way. So typically when I split, it's just. It's all forward. Yeah, it's forward. Hmm. Like my, my push press is the same as my push jerk. Got it. So it's like. Yeah, I can tell. I would rather yeah. push press the bar. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, like the power up is good, the stability. There yeah, is that's fine. okay. I don't want to. I'm just going to power it because I'm going to focus on the jerk. That's fine. Okay. Breathe. Good. So, when you get that front foot out, you want to think about reaching with the heel. Okay. Don't drive your toe down into the ground. You don't want to do that. Because what okay. you're going to do is you're going to stop it from moving, and that's when you're going to be really heavy on this front leg. So we want to pick that heel up. That way I can get this out, and then this is going to be more bent and more okay. stable. And, and more like straight down. Exactly. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to have my front knee yeah. coming in front of my ankle. So I got to step my ankle out, out okay, so that it's right under my okay. knee. Okay. Okay. Who's up? Someone entertain me. Okay. Shrug around the bar still. Jump up, shrug around. Go. Better. Bite at the top. Squeeze. There you go. That clean was better. You gave me a little more shrug around. So when you received it, you were in a nice yeah, upright nice position. The one before it was like a little bit lazy there. So you were a little bit more forward, mm -hmm. but which you could get away with it with that weight. But the heavier it gets, yeah. the more I need this to put me here on my receive. Yeah, what well, you were talking about in the beginning, I'm one of those people that like rush under. Exactly. So you really got to be patient, but like you can yeah. really feel it when you like. Do Give it. that little bit more at yeah, the top. Felt like I could really feel the difference. It was so good. Yeah. So good. I'm done. I'm not eating. On the back squat? Done. Cool. Good job, guys. I was like, there's a clip. Well, it's not coming off. 
Challenge your depth on the pause back squat, you guys. Go a little bit lower than normal. Yeah, Rachel. I like to just change it up as much as possible. Some days I am ass to grass. I want my body to know how to fire out of that position. Mm -hmm. And then other days it's like, okay, well, no, I kind of want to load it up today and I want to go to where I'm strongest, okay. right? So you have to pick whatever stimulus that you're wanting that day. And also see where your week is at. For me, I am so weak in the bottom of my clean. And so when I get to a certain weight, if it buries me, there's no way I'm standing up with it. So I'm gonna be an athlete who needs to train that super deep squat more than someone who, no matter what they clean, they can always stand up with it. So you kind of, it's very individual basis. But I do like changing up the depth. I don't like going to the same depth every single time. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Come on, Bailey. <laughs> Good. Keep that midline nice and strong at the bottom, okay? Can you tell me if I need to go down? Yeah. Go as low as you can. There. See, go there for your pause and then wherever on the full. Yeah. But see how like that that bottom position is where you'll be in a heavy ass clean. So you have to get there sometime. Sit, sit. Good, Bailey. Good girl. Yeah, Rich. Glenn, Luke. Ooh, that was good. Nice, Justin. Come on, Bailey. Z, Bailey's. Nice. Justin is very part ways, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Brian. Good job. I don't know. Front squatted 460, you said? In the, uh, Tyler did? Yeah. 460. I'm not 60. even back squatting that way. It's ridiculous. I, don't, I knew someone did. I, I didn't like, look at the leaderboard. I was like, oh my god. That's so interesting. Like, I wouldn't picture that. What? Not in like an offensive way, that you have such a strong... Are you saying arms are small? They're not that big too. Yes, they are. Yeah. Dude. We've been working on it, okay guys? We're working on looking more jacked than I I actually get excited when someone like does something that surprises me. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
You know what? It's just keep doing that stuff, the crossover symmetry stuff. Perfect. That's going to really be good for you. And that slightly narrower grip will be so good to turn all those things on. Are you anti-early pull? I'm not okay. as long as you're still elevating the bar. So what we say is as long as you're pulling it into position and you're not pulling the bar up, that's all I care about. I like, I like to think about it. My brother used to have an early arm bend. Um, I know lots of people who have been very efficient with that. Just make sure that it's not taking away from the elevation up off the hips. Like, do you know sometimes when you watch Rich snatch, it's more of like bringing it into position and then he's under. Yeah. So he needs to continuously think about that little bit of elevation up, that little bit of pop up. Yeah. If he does that, it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's harder to get that if I have the early arm bend. Yeah. But I'm for sure not against it. Yeah, gotcha. I'm not a, like, a hard stance on anything. It's gotcha. more so on an individual basis what people can make as efficient as possible for them. Let's go, Rachel. Good girl. Come on, Justin. Beautiful. Let's go, Bailey. Woo! Come on, Ashley. Good. You're so strong. Do you know what my goal would be for you? I would like for you to change your mindset surrounding the snatch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you're right. You're, you know what I mean? Right. Don't just you're be like, 100 correct. this is not my lift. I suck at this. Like, don't manifest that at all, which I know sounds like kind of cheesy and stuff. But seriously, just stop saying that. Like, right when I walked over, like, this is not my lift, just so you know. This right is not away. my lift. Don't say that anymore, okay. ever again. You're, you're right. Okay, you're holding her accountable, she is. She's Rachel. Do it. Okay, don't let her ever say it again. And I do always snatch with them because I do try to clean up my form. I do. And it's gotten better because I have a mobility coach now. Mm -hmm. So that really helps me because I have mobility issues. Um, yeah. Just getting in those positions. But I mean, it's still not there yet. It's just a work That's in okay. progress. That's okay. It's so technical. So. Do you know how long I've been doing this for? Yeah. <laughs> 26 yeah. years. So, and I have not. Okay. <laughs> and I am still working my technique every single yeah. session. Every single session, every single lift. And there's no end goal. And some days it's just not like even there. Like you just have to take the weight down because it's just not moving. Exactly. Yeah. There is no end goal and it's a continuous journey. And if you can just learn to appreciate the challenge of it and the struggle of it, yeah. then it becomes really fun. But if every time they're snatching, you're like, ugh, I, I hate snatching. Like I don't, I suck at this. I don't want to do this. Then it just makes it so much more miserable than it yeah. needs to be. You you're know right. what I mean? And it is, and it's like, it's a beautiful lift. And I love seeing yes. people do it well because it's gorgeous. Yes. And it's just like, I want it so bad. And then I go good and I'm like, ah, I just want that too. Yeah. And yours is going to look different. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. has different mobility yeah, yeah, issues. Yeah. They have different anatomical makeups. Yeah. They have different strengths and weaknesses. Your snatch doesn't have to look like everybody else's snatch. You just have to tailor it to fit your strengths, your weaknesses, your mobility issues, and get creative with it. I think everyone wants to like try to look exactly the same, and yeah. that's where they screw themselves because your body isn't meant to move that way. Your body doesn't want to hold those positions. Yeah. So 
tune into how it feels and then change your technique based of off of what feels strong for you, what feels comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. It's just, it is a mindset thing. Cause then it's more fun that way too, where you're like, I don't want to try to make my snatch look like Rachel. Yeah. I'm just going to try to make it look the strongest for me. Mm -hmm. That was really scary. Gosh. I don't need that kind of I adrenaline know, rush. Some stuff on there. We went for the best. She got a little crazy. She was a wild girl. She's pretty wild. She's a wild girl. Let's go, come on. Yeah, I was doing the uh, cross over symmetry and he was saying I was like shrugged up like this. Uh, trying to get me like so and pull back. Mm -hmm. big, big, big. Like, oh, nice. I didn't know I put low bar back squat on the board. I thought it just said back squat. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Okay, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Let's go, Tyler. You can't back squat 355? Yeah, okay. Linebacker. That's impressive. She was a linebacker for the Ravens. Don't listen I to know that. I, I knew I recognized Stop you. <laughs> he tells people that. Now we go, 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 go! Nice. Nice. He's a third round dress. I come around the corner. He's like, here she comes, third round dress. I was like, shut up, Jacob. <laughs> for the Ravens. Wait, were you really? No. Nobody <laughs> wants me. You can't catch a ball. Yeah, but I'm sure you can run super fast. Yeah, that I can do, but I can't catch anything. Yeah, Jacob, nice. He is, he's, yeah, he's how much? All the world. Yeah. All the land. He's just a little meatball. Well, his <laughs> quads are literally the size of my waist. Actually, I kind of want to measure that to see if it's Look close. Come on, Tyler. Look at it. Yeah. He's, he's strong. He's strong. <laughs> you are strong. Very unassumingly strong. Unassumingly, wow. That's what I was trying to say. You do not, no, it's not. It's, to me, it's actually a, I'm sorry. It's actually a bigger compliment. Like you should be way stronger than you look. I would love to do that. What? my biceps, to be honest. I'm kidding, kind of. <laughs> I know, I usually like just pick someone and that's the person. <laughs> you know what, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm like very curious on the reverse hyper. It's helped my back so much, but I was taught not to arch at the top. I was taught to like press my stomach into the pad and not arch. Ooh, I like that cue better. So when I when people just arch, yeah. nothing's turned on on their midline. But if you push your stomach into it, yeah. it's kind of like 
Um, you know when you use a belt and yeah. you push yeah. your stomach yeah. against the belt, it yeah. engages everything and turns that midline on? Mm -hmm. That's going to be way stronger for you. So when you're pushing your stomach into the mat, that's like engaging your midline as opposed yeah. to just hyperextending your back, yeah. which is going to be way more beneficial. I would say there's some, like somewhere right in between it. Yeah. Give me a good arch. I definitely think the arch is needed. Oh, really? But this should also be turned on as you're arching. Okay. Okay. I can feel, can you like feel the difference well, when you arch and... Maybe it was like recommended not to arch because of my disc injury. And yes. Like not to arch on the hyper. Totally. So like stay straight, push your core in, and this yes. this. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think I that's for sure part of it. But I do, I do think the arch is necessary as long as this is turned on. Okay. And it's not like so much turn on here, it's here. Yeah. This is where you need to stay. Yes, exactly. That's where you stay engaged okay. and arch there. Yeah. And that's good that you can do that. I'm sure you learned all of that from. But people, like women especially, don't know how to engage that part of their yeah. midline like at key, all. Right? Yes, yeah. exactly. Go, go, go! Yeah! yeah.